everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534, here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 2, the real driving simulator. So, what are we doing today, you may ask? Well, I will tell you because that is my job as a human being and as a man. We're going to go to the Italian Nationals today. We need to find a car to do that with first, and that's kind of important. And I need to find a different car, and it won't let me preview that because I don't know why. So, uh, that's, that's the wrong place. Oh, gross. I still had some phlegm in my mouth. Alright, so, which one of the... Uh, Fiat, we could do that, I guess. Oh, gross. Dude, I hate when that happens. <coughs> there we go. We get like that... You get like that little bit of, uh... Ooh, a barchetta. Sounds kind of cool. That literally looks exactly the same as a Mazda Miata. Minus a little bit of difference in the, in the, uh, I can't do that car, though. That's not going to work. A Punto? Ugh, yikes. Ah, was that like a Ford Focus? That looks like a Ford Focus. It's because it literally is a Ford Focus. 130. I mean, that might be about as good as it's going to get for us. What was, what was the limit? 295? Is that what we're looking at for the back end of this thing? Oh boy, dude. Okay, so we're not we're not gonna do we're not gonna do uh, Fiat. Let's let's try Lancia. Yeah, that's that's gonna be better. That'll be a lot better. 175, 214, 199. That's too much. Wait, didn't we have a car that was like this already? I think we already had one. Oh no, I think that we sold it though. Hold on. See, this is what happens when you're disorganized going into this. You don't even know what the hell you're doing anymore. I guess we didn't. Oh, it was one of those. Yeah, okay, it was similar. But not really. I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. I'm completely drunk, sort of. So, I guess we gotta do this one? I guess we're going to do this one. That's, that's what it's going to come down to. And we're going to do it in blue, even though it looks more like purple than blue, but whatever. Okay, so let's let's soup it up a little bit. I never really understood the, the concept, uh, like the term souping it up. Like, you think about that, like, the only thing that comes to mind for me is, like, you're taking the car and you're, like, opening it up and you're pouring soup into it. God, TV. I know, King of the Hill, I get it. I love you to death, but my God, you're fucking loud. It's like, shut up for a second. <coughs> but yeah, that's, that was my vision. It's like, you're just like opening up the gas can and you're pouring soup into it. And you're like, well, I mean, technically that would be souping it up, but that would probably completely ruin it because I don't know of any cars this day and age that can run off of soup. It'd be awesome. I mean, imagine how much money you would save on gas if your car ran off of soup. I mean, people would go buy just like fucking like chicken and stars for like 60 cents and you could power your car off of that. I mean, that would be completely fucking awesome, but I mean, I better go patent that like stat because there's you, you know that like car companies are watching this exact video right now. Did they mirror this track on me? Did they? Something seems weird about this. Maybe I'm just, like, losing it a little bit, but I feel like either we're doing this track backwards, which we're not, or we're doing this track mirrored. And I feel like we're doing the latter here, because this is all weird to me for some reason. Ugh. I'm really confused right now. I'm, like, totally disoriented. Like, we're still doing the correct part of this track, but it totally looks just wrong for some reason. I don't even know. I'm like all weirded out right now. But yeah, there are car companies watching this exact video, and they're like, "Oh my God, he had the idea! We're gonna do that. We're going to we're gonna make a car. It's gonna work off of fucking chicken broth and stars. It's gonna be good. And we're going to completely take over the game of cars, and gas to power the cars. My dear God." That'd be awesome, though. Think about, like, just powering a car off of, like, 
whatever you want. Like, not even just, like, limited to, like, soup. Like, you could put whatever the fuck you want in there. And, like, you'd have, like, a thing that would just automatically synthesize it and turn it into, like, usable fuel. Oh, my God. I'm, like, I'm thinking, like, way into the future right now. <laughs> Centuries into the future! I mean, that's, like, Jetson shit right there. Like, that's, 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 like, way advanced. You just fucking, hey, like, you just shove it in the tailpipe. <laughs> in the tailpipe, like an ass, yeah. Shove it in the tailpipe, and you, like, push a button, and it's just, like, scanning. Because it's got to make a noise like that, because it's the future, and everything does that. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, hey... It's scanning complete. Here you fucking go. Because, you know, all, all computers are just going to be like, they're just going to have like, you know, everyday talking, just, you know, laying out the F-bomb like it's no one's business. Because it can do that. It's a computer. Whatever. <clears throat> Man, I kind of miss like actually being able to win prize cars in these things. It's kind of, it's kind of sad, really. I got kind of spoiled by, you know, having a car every time I won a race. Like, oh, we won! I wonder what it could be. And now it's just like, oh, you won. Here's some money. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of here, you goddamn jackass. Man, I'd like to kick your fucking head in. Okay, so 290 Thieve. Let's go throw some more stuff in here to make it more gooder being on the pavement. So let's see, turbo. We can do turbo. What was it? 295. 250. 280. Let's do 250. That's more economical. Even though I don't think. I, I could be wrong here, but I don't think that we're in any immediate danger as far as money is concerned. So, uh, yeah. But, look at me. I mean, I'm just being a little bit of a cheapskate, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't really care. This is gonna be just fine. I mean, we just, we just, we did this as a, with a bargain. We got to 270 without really spending a lot of money. And we're gonna kick total ass because I said so. And this is, oh, we did Rome short. No wonder why. I thought this was like, they're just the Rome surrogate and everything was just all like fucking weird and stuff. It's like, how dare you change this on me? I'm not ready for that. I don't know if I know how to deal with that yet. Oh, yeah. Flex your muscles, baby. Flex your Italian muscle. Yeah. Yeah, look at you go. Wait a minute. Have I seen that car before over there? I feel like I have, but I haven't. Oh, I know it's one of those like Alfa Romeo 155s. I was like, I was like, I feel like I bought that car already, but I did not. I would have been lying right to the front of your face even though I'm not actually looking at any of you, if that were the case here. Yeah, all right, let's put this into action right here. I mean, all I want to do right now is just kick these guys' balls in. Because <clears throat> I just want to win a race by a lot. I've had way too many close calls lately, especially in that British circuit, Jesus. As if it wasn't hard enough in there be nice to just be able to just totally run away with one and just... Ugh. God, so much phlegm. Speaking of phlegm, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're probably wondering, why the hell would he even say that? Well, because I just swallowed it. It was gross. But, uh, now I'm hungry. So, I gotta do something about that. I haven't really eaten very much this week when I've been sick, and I hate that. Like, I hate when you get sick, you just automatically nothing sounds good anymore. It's really stupid. It's like, and like when you're sick, that's what you want to do. Like, you want to eat. You want to eat stuff that's going to make you feel better about being fucking, like, horribly sick. But, you know, life plays a trick on you. It's like, ha ha, you fag. I'll give you something to be pissed off about. I'm going to make you sick, and I'm going to make you not hungry. So you're going to feel like shit, and you're going to lose weight. Not on purpose. So, like, the whole time I was sick, like, I had, like, just like three, like three or four meals. Like I didn't even eat very much. Like I had Taco Bell like once, and I had uh, Carl's Jr. once, and I had like you know grilled cheese sandwiches and soup like once, and I had I think I had like a steak dinner once, 
And uh, then I had like this like Mexican breakfast like ground beef and like type of burrito like breakfast burrito type thing once. And that was like all I ate for like two weeks. Like those five meals right there. Like I'm not saying that I ate them more than once. Like that's all I had. Cause like I just wasn't hungry. Like I had a, a like numerous days where I ate one time, and that was it. Mainly because like I don't know, it's just like this weird thing that triggers in your brain. You're just like, oh, I'm not fucking hungry. Ugh. Even though I wa <laughs> I want to eat, but I was just like, nothing sounds good at all. And it's stupid. It's like why? Give me food, damn it! I want to. I want to do something about this, but then it's even worse because like you eat, but your throat feels like fucking sandpaper coated in Tabasco sauce, and you're like, Ugh, I don't want to eat this because I don't want to swallow because it hurts. And then like every time you swallow, like you get that weird feeling in your sinus where it like every it's it's like it starts percolating like a coffee maker because all your damn like flammin bullshit is up there, and you know that sucks too because it feels like somebody crams a bunch of tampons in your face. Yeah, that that feels just splendid, and you're like, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to eat anything, cause I don't want to swallow, cause then I get that weird like blah 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 blah, blah up in my face, and it sucks. It's like everything about being sick sucks. There's nothing good about it. There's just nothing, nothing good about it at all. I mean, it's just not enjoyable. Period. Like nothing that you do when you're sick feels good at all. Like taking a shower doesn't feel good. Cause you're just sitting there, you're just like, uh. I don't feel good. This doesn't even help. I'm just standing here loathing in the fact that I can't feel good about anything. And like sleeping doesn't feel good because you can't get comfortable ever. Especially if you have a, if you have a fever, just you might as well just call it off because it's just not going to happen. So you're just laying there like a jackass trying to get comfortable and you're sitting there sweating all over everything. And you're like, Ugh, I don't want to sleep anymore because I'm like bathing in my own juice. And that's bad enough. There's nothing, nothing you can do. I, I feel like nothing would ever feel good when you're sick. Like, even things that, like, in all other situations would feel completely incredible. Like, I don't know, I'll bet it, I'll bet even, like, having sex when you're sick probably doesn't feel good. No, I take that back. That probably still feels really good. I would not know. I have not tried that. That is, that is one thing I have not tried before in my lifetime. I have not had sex while I was sick. However, I guarantee you that it would probably, it would probably help. I guarantee you it would. Because I think I actually read somewhere that, like, that <coughs> that like releases chemicals in your body to, like, make you feel better. So, uh, there we go. <coughs> so, I'm sorry, that's really loud. Okay, so, we've kind of sort of run out of time, but not yet. I want to be able to find a car that we can start this up with so that I don't have to spend three minutes in the beginning of the next episode trying to figure out what the hell to do with our lives. So we're going to figure this out first. I'm going to figure out a car to drive. Isn't Audi... I could have sworn Audi was... Um, I mean, it can't be because I've already used this car before, so there's like no way. Huh, weird. Okay, well, what, what brands up in this neck of the woods, which ones of those are, are German? It is! An Audi S4 is German. Okay, I can totally use that again. But do I want to? That's the better question. I mean, I should be doing, I should be doing BMW. I don't know why I sold that thing, cause I did some, I did some shit in there. Lotus, that is not. Hmm. I'm really confused now. How the hell? How in the hell was? Oh, was I even able to use that thing in that thing? It doesn't make sense. Like I get it. Like it's European, but. That Audi S4 is not a UK vehicle. It's just not at all. So I don't even know how that would even work. I'm like totally at a loss for words right now trying to figure that one out. But we're going to use it because it's there and I don't have to buy another car to do anything with this about it. So that doesn't even make any sense. Do anything with this about it. Yeah. Makes plenty of sense, Adam. Way to go, you douche. Okay, 216. Man, we're going to have to strip this thing clean about but can we that's the better question uh, blue all right let's take all the good stuff out <coughs> can we even get the, I don't even know if we can get even get this thing down to that to be honest with you I don't even know if it's even gonna work yeah 
317. I don't think we're going to get this thing down there at all. No. No, I don't think so. It was worth a try, but let's, let's get this thing back up to, to the real shit here. Performance ship, throw it in there. Yeah, I don't even know what I was thinking. We should, we, I mean, we should just do, like, the fast race first and get it out of the way. That one's always the hard one. So, better yet, am I in range to do that? What was the limit here? 443? Pfft, we're good. I mean, we're not good, but we should be. Dude, okay, so when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo Dos, we're going to go take the performance chip out of this. I mean, I might even just do it off the camera just to save myself 30 seconds. But when we come back, we're going to do that one. We're going to strip some shit out of it. We're going to do the 295, and then we're probably going to have to go buy a car for the 216. Just because that's what, I mean, it's not a big deal. I got plenty of money for that. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do when we get back. So, uh... Hopefully this Fleming shit will be gone, because I really hate talking like that, because it would feel like I'm just talking while I'm plugging my nose. It's literally like the same thing. Like, I have my nose plugged, and it feels exactly the same to me. I mean, it may sound different, but it sound it feels the same to me. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go get some dinner, even though it's 10 o'clock. And I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye.